I don't know how the uh, video angle quality is gonna be, but let's just start. Cool. Um, I don't know how the video quality is gonna be here, but uh, I haven't used a GoPro in a minute. But I just did 152. Um, Zer Lipos. Turning out a little different set of Zers right now. Making some adjustments. Car's pulling right a little bit on that last run. Almost took my feet out. Trying to avoid that. I'd rather car pull left than right, to be honest. We got a double lane road here. For some reason, this car always wants to go right under throttle. Let's see if I keep it from doing that. Let's try and keep it in the, the far two lanes of this one. I'm stopped. This red car. Alright, I think I'm good. Bring it back, bring it back. Ooh, squarely again. Still wants to go right a little bit. That one was better, but still definitely going right. I was on it for longer, too. Whew. Definitely had to drive it a bit, though. Downforce is working now. That little wing I got in the back is uh, doing its job. Whew. Shaking. But car's definitely come a while. It's definitely running better than what it was even last time out. For sure. Yeah, it's definitely still pulling right. Something doesn't sound right. Same. Ugh. I'm afraid to breathe. I don't know if I got the only GPS that takes like four hours to connect. There we go. Stop. Read. 160. Hell yeah. Just uh, wanted to do a quick little breakdown of the Vendetta. The, just for after the run. Talk about the car a little bit. Uh, you know, it's basically a Vendetta. Uh, running the world record. Built the plastics body. Um, I did have some problems with this body when I first got it. You can see here I had some wheel well rubbing both sides of the body and in the back. I spaced the car out, made it a little bit wider, just using some uh, hub adapters or hub extenders, and then cut the wheel wells out. Nothing too crazy. Add some uh, this little wing back here for downforce. This is 100% necessary with this body, because otherwise the thing ice skates down the road like there's no downforce. It's not. It's undrivable without having something in the rear like that. But uh, anyway, let's pop the uh, pop the top off real quick. Uh, we got you know Steve new motor. Um, I'm only running a Mamba Monster X 8S in it right now. I'm going to put an XLX2 in it at some point. Um, just I had it laying around, so that's where I'm running. Uh, the diffs in this car are full, hot racing, everything. Uh, stock diffs, even the armor metal ones, I don't really trust to hold up too well. Uh, I'm running the hot racing center drive shaft. This is the older one. I'm going to switch it out to the new style one. I've heard it's a little bit better. This one is the second one I have in this car because they do wear pretty fast and I don't really trust them. Same with the, the hot racing spool I'm running. I don't really trust this spool. I have this little bearing bearing collar on there right now to keep it from splitting because I've seen that happen a couple times. There's a guy in Germany who I know makes steel ones. I'm going to get one of those steel spools that he makes. Uh, I got some metal hubs, you know, just metal bearing carriers, nothing too crazy. I got lock suspension in the front, uh, limited shocks in the rear, just with some fuel tubing in there just to keep it from squatting too far. I'm running these RC four wheel drive axles. They're holding up pretty well. Uh, the trick I use to keep these from actually blowing apart is, I don't know if you can see the little, the little retaining clip that kind of wraps around the outside here. Glue that in place, because otherwise this blows apart at speed, the little clip. And it will have the pin that holds the CV joint together will fall out and the whole axle will just shred itself. Um, the battery trays, I just made myself. They're just some carbon bolted to the chassis. Uh, I cut the little front splitter down a little bit because it's just a little too flimsy for me. But uh, otherwise, you know, the car is pretty simple. 
I'm running a perfect pass in it right now, uh, just because I'm running the Futaba radio. Normally, I run a Fly Sky radio, and uh, that perfect pass is built into the radio, so we're just with it's just regular throttle speed, so I don't need the whole separate thing. But uh, my Fly Sky radio is broken right now, so I do that in there just so I can get out and make some runs with it. Um, one other quick thing I want to talk about is the uh, the lipos I was running today. Uh, these are lipos. These are the uh, 8,000 milliamps. I'm really liking these packs so far. My buddy was running these particular ones in his VT. He pushed out a uh, 168 for the day, which is actually an all-time new PB for him. Um, you now we were running CNHLs and stuff, and these just absolutely blow them out of the water. Um, he did 168 with these. He ran into some radio problems throughout the day, so we had to call it quits on his car. Definitely had more in it. These batteries in that car are going to probably push mid-170s, I would assume, minimum. Um, personally, I was running these new packs that uh, Peter sent me that are unbelievable. These are what I actually did the 160 with in this car. So I'm really liking what he's doing with the, uh, with the Azura stuff. You can check him out on his website right there. I think it's Renardo beach.com or rc.com i'm going to link it in the bio or in the description of this video definitely check these packs out i'm really liking these i've compared them to cnhl roaring top uh some smcs and these are better than everything i've tested so far same with these these are still fantastic packs both of them i think are really good these i don't think are available yet but will be probably pretty soon but yeah guys that's uh that's it for today check out check out azor check out uh Island Hobby Nut. Um, as always, guys, uh, have a good one. Keep running cars. I'll probably post up some more runs of this. Hopefully this weekend I'll be able to.